if you could break down the entire Bennu asteroid, how many cups of tea could you sweeten with it? If you guessed 480 cups of tea, congratulations, you're correct. Hi everyone, astrobiologist here with the latest on weird stuff they keep finding in asteroids. Bennu is an asteroid that circles the sun roughly between the orbits of Earth and Mars. It's a primitive, carbon-rich, rubble-pile asteroid that NASA sampled with the OSIRIS-REx mission in 2020. Bennu is some of the oldest, most chemically pristine material in the entire solar system, so it's good for us to study the literal chemical ingredients for life. Earlier this week, scientists at Tohoku University in Japan released their findings on the Bennu sample. They went looking for some of life's ingredients in the sample, specifically sugars. Sugars aren't just for coffee, they're actually a group of molecules that our bodies use for multiple purposes. The team found glucose, which is used by our cells for energy. They found xylose, which is a sweetener. And most importantly, they found ribose, which is a key ingredient in ribonucleic acid, or RNA. That last one is really important. RNA stores genetic information, and billions of years ago, it was the precursor to DNA. Astrobiologists have wondered for a really long time whether ribose can form by itself, abiotically, without life. And now we finally have the answer. It does. In space. Anyways, there weren't a lot of sugars in the Bennu sample, but they were definitely there. If you could scoop out all the ribose in Bennu, you'd have about two-thirds of a pound of it, which is only enough to sweeten 15 cups of tea, given that ribose is actually not very sweet. The remaining 465 cups of tea come from the xylose. There's just as much xylose as ribose in the Bennu sample, but xylose is about 30 times sweeter. So there you have it, 480 cups of tea. Big picture, the stuff that fell to Earth billions of years ago was actually a lot more complex and friendly to life than we had ever imagined. And that's just the beginning of our inventory of life's ingredients found in asteroids. But that's all for today. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time.